what most people think about when they think of archaeologists is going out in the field and digging things up and finding bones and pots and, and things like that. And, and that's certainly a, a big part of, of what goes into archaeology. But probably the, the bigger part and the more important part is uh, being able to explain what those bits and pieces actually mean. We use things like shovels and um, sometimes picks. We also use smaller uh, tools like trowels or, or smaller digging spades. Well, one of the things, uh, tools that we use is um, something called a screen, which it's actually sort of like your window screen, but a little bigger. And we put the dirt in there and shake it. So what that does is it separates all the smarter, smaller dirt particles from the artifacts, and then you look through what remains in the screen. This farm was actually part of a plantation that was established in 1794 by a family of French people. They had about 748 acres total, and they had 90 enslaved laborers in their possession. An eyewitness account that gave us a little bit of a, a clue as to the general location of where the slave quarters were. And then we really just had to go out and, and start digging. We uncovered uh, just a, a wide variety of, of um, artifacts, everything from broken glassware and ceramics to uh, rusty old nails and pieces of hardware, uh, lots of food remains, so bones and shell. This is a shell pendant, and this is made of oyster shell, like the shell that we have here. So this would have been made likely by one of the enslaved individuals and they would have taken the larger shell and they would have made it into this decorative object and then inscribed all of these little lines that go down here and the hole that they would have probably put a cord through to wear it. This is actually an 1817 US large cent, which is the equivalent of what today is the penny. And you can probably tell that it's much bigger than a penny today. And that's one of the, the attributes, along with the date, that help us figure out when this was made. For more information about the Bats Farm, visit the National Park Service at nps.gov. Find out what it's like to be a real archaeologist by going to Archaeology for Kids. For more information about other careers, go to kids.gov.